Hey, Nomadic Fanatic, Eric here. Um, it's been a very productive couple of days. Um, the, the awesomest news is that I got the engine stuff worked out. It was just a starter and a solenoid, and uh, it was only a couple hundred bucks to fix that, uh, which meant I could also get the tires done, which I did both today in one day. Uh, I got new tires, starter, starter solenoid. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be really busy, though, because I have class all day and I have rehearsal at night. So I'm probably going to camp out here at Walmart for over 24 hours, so we'll see how that works out. Um, and then Wednesday I have an appointment. Uh, the guy from the RV place said he got the patch in and he's confident that he can do the welding required to fix that. And he says, drop it off Wednesday and you will have a working plumbing system in your RV by the end of the day. So I'm stoked. <laughs> uh, when, by Wednesday night, everything should pretty much be back to normal. So, so just to recap, I've already got uh, the brand new toilet. I got the brand new valve system outside. I got brand new tires and the starter, which I can't take a picture of because that's in the engine compartment. And then in two days here, I will have that black water tank repaired, sealed, the crack fixed, and be back up and running. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Um, I There are two other RVs in the lot right now and it's still daytime, so it makes me wonder what's gonna happen at night. Um, I've kind of been, I mean, I've stayed in that one spot over there downtown for, for three days. Didn't get a single notice on my window or anything. I thought that was kind of weird. I get more notices at Walmart than I do in downtown city limits. So um, we'll see how this goes. See if they're going to let me stay here for two days. Basically 48 hours I'll be here. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. I got a lot of organizing and stuff to do, but I just want to say hi. Ugh. Ugh. Jax is mad because he's been spending all this time in the car with his litter box and everything in the car and just a time for him to play, so I think he's happy to have the RV back. You run around a little bit, right? All right. I'll check back in in a couple days. Hey, and one other thing I forgot to mention. So, um, since I was unable to use my toilet this last five, six days, I uh, my solution was I went to, to Cabela's over there and I got the Luggabaloo. <laughs> and these are actually sold in a kit that also comes with the bucket, but... I, you know, buckets are cheap, and I already had one, so I just mounted it to a Home Depot five-gallon bucket, and it comes with a lid and a seat, <laughs> and you just plop in a five-gallon bag, which I have a bunch of those. I think they want you to buy their really special bags that come with the chemical packets and everything in them, but if you're really, really going to rough it, you can just use a normal bag and dump it when you're done. <laughs> You don't need all that special stuff if it's just going into a five gallon bucket. So anyway, these work and they're really cheap. They're like 15 bucks, including with the bucket, or you can just get the seat and stuff that I got for like 10 bucks. So it's good for emergencies if you don't want to buy a porta potty and it's just going to be a couple days. It's definitely worked for me, but I'm going to be so glad to have my toilet back. So glad.